girlfriend, uh, which is pretty awesome, right? They make you wear shirts like this, and, uh... <laughs> Someone asked me, they said, Lance, what would you do if your girlfriend ever got pregnant? I was like, well, I would find that guy. I would ask how he got her to sleep with him. My girlfriend's looking for a new place to live. She's looking on Craigslist. Uh, a lot of weird ads on Craigslist, right? She came across the one. There was this guy, he goes, I'm looking for a female roommate who, in exchange for rent, will be willing to walk around naked from time to time. <laughs> but that's normal, you expect that, right? But if you keep reading this ad, this is what, you, what it says. It says, otherwise, the rent is $8.50. <laughs> what? I can just pay $8.50 and live with that guy? He seems awesome. <laughs> what a nice young man he must be. <laughs> what if there's a month you're low on rent? You're like, man, I gotta go naked from Tuesday to Thursday. <laughs> This is the worst. I'm getting pretty creepy toward one myself as I get older, right? Dudes are creepy. We're just creepy. We get creepier as we get older. This is how creepy I've gotten. I was walking down the street a few weeks ago. I see a hot girl. I'm by myself. This is what came out of my mouth, right? I see her and I went, ooh. Scrumptious. Which I think is a problem. Uh, I did this, which is creepier. A hot girl uh, passed me the sidewalk the other day, and uh, she smelled nice, so I followed her for the next two blocks. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> you ever see a really attractive pregnant lady, and you're just like, man, somebody got there first. <laughs> what about this? You ever see a really ugly pregnant lady? You're just like, what the hell? <laughs> somebody must have been hammered. <laughs> That's a comedy castle, that's why. I made a local for you guys, I made a local. <clears throat> they got a store for women, guys, Victoria's Secret. You guys know that store, right? Pretty awesome store. No store like that for men, though. There's no Brian Surprise. <laughs> you never walk down the street and you hear a guy, he's like, hold on, babe, I gotta run into Brian Surprise real quick. I gotta pick up some banana hammocks and suspenders for this evening. <laughs> and some adhesive mustaches. <clears throat> I live in New York City, you see crazy stuff in New York, man. I saw a dude selling fruit roll-ups on the corner. That's all this dude was selling. He was just like, fruit roll-up, fruit roll-up, fruit roll-up. I bought four, because I love fruit roll-ups. Dude had every flavor. I saw this. I saw a lady that drew her own eyebrows on. I think that's pretty messed up. I don't care if you shave your eyebrows, but I think that draw them back on is wrong. That's like saying, hey God, I can do better than you. With this Crayola marker that I found. And yeah, I'm gonna look surprised. I get depressed a lot because I'm alive, and uh... <laughs> I thought about committing suicide a lot. Everybody has, right? You're not human. If I was going to do it, I would jump off a building, but first I'd make a t-shirt. This shirt would say, I just committed suicide. <laughs> People would find my body like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. That makes sense. <laughs> make sure. Or I would jump off a building and I'd wear a Batman costume. <laughs> that guy stinks, he can't fly, that's what you want to do, right? Spider-Man stinks too, all Spider-Man can do, he just shoots a web to buildings. He can only save people if he's in an urban area. <laughs> you put Spider-Man in Kansas, that guy is screwed. <laughs> he's just running through wheat fields. <laughs> My life is not going well, man. Uh, I thought my life was gonna be awesome, right? I thought it was gonna be sweet and have like this kind of path to it, like be pretty cool. Uh, but my life is going this way. And recently feels as though it has gone this way. 
And then up, into my own asshole. That's what it feels like. <clears throat> I farted on the bus last week. I ride the bus because my career's exploding, and uh... <clears throat> I farted so bad, people started getting off. It wasn't even their stuff. And so he goes, ooh, that's bad, I'm just gonna walk. I also heard this, which is better. I was sitting in the back of the bus, somebody in the front of the bus said this. That means my fart made its way all the way to the front of the bus. I'm not making this up. This lady stood up in front of everybody, and she goes, oh, I can taste it in my mouth. Which is pretty magical, guys. That was my Rosa Parks moment. It was pretty amazing. I'm Lance, thanks a lot, guys.